Last week, we talked about the first half of Psalm 23.1, and this week we'll be talking about the second half. Please go and watch our other video if you have not already done so. The verse goes, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And other versions say, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. What does this mean that we shall not want or that we lack nothing? Well, let's brainstorm for a second and take scripture at its word here. What are the implications of this? Well, number one, I'm not leading me. And number two, the Lord is. And number three, because the Lord is leading me, he is the one who's taking care of my needs. All the way to the extent of me lacking nothing, having no want. In my own mind, sometimes there are things that I want. I am sure almost all of you can relate with this. I think about right now or even into the future. I think about this or that, things that I do not already have. I even think spiritually about the things that I have not yet learned. In my mind, this is me lacking something. But this is not how the Lord sees it. And I need to follow his perspective over my life. I need to remember that I am not the leader. The shepherd is leading and the shepherd has led me here. He is the one who's calling the shots and what my needs are. And he is providing accordingly. So whether I can believe it or not, I have everything I need in this current moment because the Lord is the one leading and he is the one providing. Where he leads, he will provide. And if he hasn't provided it, maybe you don't need it or you don't need it yet. I read somewhere that for David, the fact that God was his shepherd was the end of a dissatisfied need. The fact that God was his shepherd created a content state for David to live in. Now, this is a hard thing to do. It's hard to live this out in our daily lives, but it must at times be a declaration and a decision to believe this. A declaration of trust in God. Whether we live this out or not reveals a core belief that to accept God as our shepherd, we acknowledge that he is the one who provides for our every need. To say that we lack nothing because the Lord is our shepherd is a beautiful truth and one that brings great contentment and peace. But we can decide, are we going to believe this or not over our lives? Can we believe that God is our good shepherd who leads us and guides us and who knows our needs and will be faithful to care for them? 